It is, of course, an old cliché that a picture is worth a thousand words. Like most clichés, this probably isn't always and entirely true, but there are certain circumstances under which it really seems to be accurate. More particularly, every once in a while, I find a meme that can sum up a concept or an argument so much better than putting that argument in words ever possibly could. The aesthetic of such a meme is so perfect that it makes the argument far better than, say, a 10-minute video such as this could. One such meme has exploded across the internet recently, and it perfectly captures in image what conservatives have been trying for a very long time to express in words. This is, as you probably already know, the image which compares two different women. The first is a wife and mother with her husband and child, and the second is a woman of a similar age who is by herself with a wine glass and a piece of pizza. And the image refers to the first as an established and complete woman, and the second as also an established and complete woman. This same image was also paired with a very similar one from the same artist, which also compared two women. The first one saying, my mother at age 31, and it had her mother with two children, and the second saying, me at 31, showing her with a wine glass and a bag of luggage. The woman that made these images actually has an entire Instagram account dedicated to her artwork, most of which are these same sorts of things. I really would like to believe that this entire account is actually just some secret right-wing troll, but especially considering all the progressives I saw on Twitter praising these images, I doubt that's the case. What is really especially great about these images is how they highlight both the nihilism and the consumerism of what the left promotes for their vision of the world. In their better propaganda, the left would have the woman in some sort of prestigious job, or perhaps as a professor writing books, or maybe as an artist, something where you can see that she is actually giving to the world, and she actually is producing something. It's usually that sort of shtick. Aren't there so many wonderful ways that you can contribute to society other than having children? I mean, you know, anyone can have children. It's pretty easy. We have a pretty strong biological drive to do it. It's artistic or intellectual things that really contribute to society and really help people. How many people have ever been remembered just for having children? This, in the classic leftist Montem Bailey, is the stronger form of the argument that they would normally make. But the reality, the thing that they really want to push, is what we see in these images. It's not about doing something greater. The replacement for having children, for creating life, is not some sort of nobler goal. It's vain pleasure-seeking. It's not babies for books, it's babies for wine. These pictures could hardly make the point any better. In both of them, you can see a very clear degeneration. I really like this word, degeneracy, that gets used a lot, but I don't think it's used in entirely the correct way. The way that it's normally used is to describe particular forms of deviant sexual behaviors. And though those do certainly fall under that label, there are so many other things that it is also applicable for. The general condition of modern man can be considered degenerated, not just in one or two ways, but in all ways, really. And these pictures demonstrate that so well. Even the difference of the clothes from the married couple to her shows this same pattern. That is because the main problem with these images, the main issue with the left-wing worldview that they're showing, is that the images on the right are promoting the subordination of everything else in your life to that which will give you the most pleasure. There is, of course, nothing at all wrong with remaining single, even with remaining perpetually single. As St. Paul quite clearly tells us, it is actually, in fact, preferable to remain single if you can, a teaching which was reiterated at the Council of Trent. The difference is, traditionally, the Christian perspective that the single life is more meritorious than the married life is because the single life allows one to devote themselves utterly to God and to the service of their fellow man. Everyone has loyalties, and of course your chief loyalty is to God, but those with families have lesser loyalties to their family and to the other people that depend on them. There's nothing wrong with having this loyalty to your family, but it prevents you from further dedicating yourself to God and to others. And this is not a million miles off 
from the stronger version of the leftist argument which I made earlier. But with these images, we see what the left really means. They don't want you to be single so you can devote yourself to your community, and they certainly don't want you to devote yourself to God. They want you to be single so you can be the perfect consumer. The single life, the child-free life, it's not more meritorious. It's more easy. It's more pleasurable. That's why they prefer it. And, of course, again, this left-wing promotion of the single life is really, in every way, a bastardization of the traditional Christian promotion of the single life. Because when they say single, they do not mean single the way Christians, of course, mean that. They want all the pleasure of sexual activities without any of the responsibility, onanism in the most extreme form possible. So what in one sense seems like a similarity to the traditional Christian position is really its complete reversal. What for one man or woman would have been done for the most extreme form of service is done instead for the most extreme form of pleasure-seeking. Like I already said, this entire Instagram account is dedicated to this lady's art. And not all of it is this type of stuff, but most of her recent work is. A lot of her older stuff actually was Harry Potter artwork, though she doesn't appear to do that anymore. I suppose it might be too problematic now. Looking at some of this other art of hers, which has not gone viral, it's really hard not to get the feeling that she's coming on a bit strong, that she's protesting just a bit too much. She apparently feels the need to remind the world again and again and again that she's perfectly happy where she is in her life, that all the vain pleasure-seeking which she has structured her life around really is fulfilling at the end of the day. She keeps on reiterating that a dog is preferable to a baby for her, and in fact, when she sees babies, she just can't stand them. Any maternal feelings that she does have are perfectly fulfilled with her dog. And, of course, if she by some chance were to ever see this video, I'm sure she would say that I'm all sorts of ists and isms. That, as she has outlined many times in her artwork, you can be a happy and complete woman and do a wide variety of different things. All that matters is that you find it fulfilling. But if you do a bit of digging on her webpage, you'll find, as you may expect from these types of people, that the mask slips just a little bit. Her constant protesting that her life is just as fulfilling and just as good as any other might not be as true as she claimed it was. In this image, she compares one woman in two different states. On the left, she obviously looks like she has serious mental health problems, and on the right, she looks like a pretty normal, put-together woman. The caption on the first image is, someone who is not okay, and the caption on the second one is, also someone who is not okay. In the description of this image, she says, I'm done pretending I'm fine, because I'm not. I'm really not. But the show must go on, and I don't care about anyone's judgment. I'm here to talk about it. Now, I certainly don't have any desire to shame her for talking about her personal mental health problems. I certainly don't believe that's a bad thing. But the irony could hardly be richer. A woman who dedicates much of her online presence to constantly claiming that her lifestyle is fine and fulfilling and just as good as any other lifestyle, admits that actually it isn't quite providing for her as well as she claims it is. That it isn't making her as happy as she says. And this is hardly a surprise. Depression in the bio of a progressive activist is pretty much a meme at this point. As she says, she is not fine. And we aren't fine. Our society is not fine. The whole system that got us here is not fine. Thanks for watching this video. Please donate to my subscribe star if you enjoy this content, or Patreon, or buy my t-shirt at Teespring. And please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and share these videos with anyone who you think would enjoy them. And a special thanks to my donors, Emmett Vestry, The Right Cafe, Yourself, Cepheus Rex, Lita, Quo Pregranator, Haxorius, Adzutko, Josiah, King of Evil Florida and the Moon, Seth Apex, Richard, Cringewalker, Zian Harris, Thomas Thomist, Windowlick, and Augustine. Thanks to all my other donors, and thank you again everyone for watching.